other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. I'm WCPO 9 News anchor Evan Millward. These stories are developing now. Bars and restaurants in Ohio are forced to close at 9 p.m. Sunday, except for carryout and drive through options. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine made the call first this afternoon. Illinois and California followed suit in some ways shortly after. DeWine also announced that unemployment benefits would be easier to get for those who get the coronavirus or those impacted by these business closures, and they will kick in more quickly. He also said there will be disaster loan money available for small businesses impacted by his decision, that order, to close bars and restaurants. Ohio reported at least 36 cases Sunday, including two new cases in Butler County, bringing the total there to six. That's more than double the number of cases in Ohio that we would report it on Friday. Kentucky cases rose to 20, with Governor Andy Bashir saying one person is in, quote, bad shape and not likely to survive. Bashir says he himself got tested after being close to a positive case. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir has tested negative for COVID-19. And a scare at Traders World Flea Market in Monroe Sunday afternoon as gunfire erupts there during an argument between two customers. One person was taken to Atrium Medical Center with injuries. Another person was quickly taken into custody. We are still working to learn more about this story for you. And we continue coronavirus coverage as you know. This all changes almost by the minute. You can find all of our coronavirus coverage on WCPO.com. There's a coronavirus landing page, and we're always on with breaking news and weather updates for you on WCPO.com and in that WCPO app. We're all in this together. Here's to a great week ahead.